Hi, Dr. Romano. I'm here for sentencing. I didn't do all the work in the DAT Destroyer, and I didn't get very good DAT scores. Young What's lady, my sentence? You didn't do all the problems in the DAT Destroyer. Think of yourself as a surgeon. You're a surgeon, and you're about to do operation on a person, and you didn't do all the material. Do you really think you should be doing surgery? I pronounce you guilty, and I sentence you to DAT jail for life. Good day to you. Oh no, Dr. Romano, can I get out of jail? I promised to do all the destroyer, no and I'm going to retake the death. I sentence you as guilty, but for the rest of the students out there who are still in the hunt, let me show you one problem, and I'll show you the solution to the DAT question. So why don't you make yourself useful and come around, and I'll do a problem. Okay, Dr. Romano. Can I get a jury trial? No, jury. I'm going to hang you. Good day to you. For the rest of you guys, I'd like you to take a look at a problem. Um, if we looked at a molecule called phosphine, which is pH 3, phosphorus is in group 5, hydrogen is in group 1, and there's three of them, we have a total of eight valence electrons. So I'm going to put the phosphorus here, and as you can see, there would be one lone pair, and this molecule would be sp3. Why sp3? There's four areas of space, and the shape is called trigonal pyramidal. All right, good day to you. And for the rest of you out there, keep on studying. You don't want to end up like this girl who did no groundwork and who was looking for possible reassurance if you didn't do all the problems in the book and you want me to baby you and pander you and say you're going to still do well. You're likely to not to do well. Good day to you. Bye-bye. Good day to you, sir, but I'm going to request a jury trial anyway. Good day to you, sir. Next. Dad gone it. Next, step up. He get out of here. Okay, Dr. Romano, I'll let the next person in for sentencing. Guilty! Guilty!